I am standing in front of Lake Ontario. I'm at Fort Niagara in New York State. Remember, there are really multiple ways for human beings to create borders or boundaries. The physical boundaries include things like this, like deserts, which are not really used much anymore, but they have been used in the past. Mountains, which are definitely used, you think about the Himalayas in between China and India, and bodies of water and rivers. Lake Ontario is one of these types of borders or boundaries because I am standing in the United States of America in New York. Behind me, you can barely see it out there, is Canada on the other side of this lake. So the lake is operating as a boundary. And if you look carefully, you can actually see Toronto off in the distance. That's right, the biggest city in Canada is right out over there. I know it's hard to see, but if you look, it's there. Now, if you pull out and you look over here to my right, you can see that there's a promontory of land. That promontory of land sticking out there is also Canada, because in between where I'm standing and that promontory is the Niagara River. You know what the Niagara River is famous for? I think you know. The Niagara River connects Lake Erie to Lake Ontario. And one of the ways it does that is the water comes from Lake Erie reaches a waterfall, that's correct, Niagara Falls, and the water pours over the top of that. And as it does that, then that water comes out over here and empties into Lake Ontario. The Niagara River is also a physical boundary. So we have two bodies of water, the Niagara River and Lake Ontario operating right here as the border between two gigantic political entities, the United States of America, and over there behind me, C-A-N-A-D-A. Let's go.